Hello friends, we're getting close to Shabbos and I wanted to share an insight on this week's parsha with you. So there's two famous stories that we read about in the parsha this week. One of them about Jacob, Yaakov, and the wrestling match that he has with the angel, the famous wrestling match where he has his hip dislocated and he's injured. Uh, and of course the very next story is when he encounters his brother Esau and he's anticipating a bit of a fight. He's anticipating some resentment from Esau after all that they've been through, their childhood rivalry, and uh, he's preparing himself for the absolute worst. And the commentary say that these two stories came next to each other for a particular reason, a lesson to be learned. Hashem was trying to teach Jacob an important lesson. Jacob, of course, has the name Israel, uh, we are the children of Jacob and we're the children of Israel, so it is important for us to be able to look to Jacob's life and take inspiration and take lesson. So why are the two stories next to each other? Reason being is that escapism and the ability to just duck away from difficult situations is human nature and something that we might naturally gravitate to because it's often the easier way out. It's difficult to have hard conversations, it's difficult to face challenging situations, and it's always easier to find another way out and to, to duck away from that. And Hashem was teaching Yaakov Avinu that in life you're going to encounter challenges, you're going to encounter difficulty. And the story of the wrestling match in which he was injured at his hip, where he wasn't able to physically duck out the back door and run away, was there to teach him that Yes, you're going to be approaching Asav, and yes, there might be friction, it might be a difficult conversation to have, and you might be quite worried, but this is an important moment for you to not resort to an easy way out and an easy escape and a slip away, uh, but rather face the challenge head on, uh, be strong and firm in what you truly believe and what you feel strongly in your heart, um, and be reassured that that choice is the right one and the one that will lead you towards a life ahead that's full of fulfillment uh, and reassurance uh, and by practicing those ways uh, we the children of Jacob and Israel are able to achieve the very same Shabbat Shalom my dear friends and come past and visit us in shul we're back in person Shabbat Shalom